What have I been into this month? You're about to find out. New deode up in here, up in here. Basically, so I'm not the smelling kid. If you watch my 50 random facts video, you know what I'm talking about. Also, is there a lipstick on my teeth? Probably, but whatever. This is the La Aceton deodorant. I can't tell you how difficult it is to find a freaking deodorant without aluminum in it. I like the La Vanilla deodorant, but that one isn't sold like in store all the time. You have to order it online. I was in Sephora and scoured Sephora, and this was like, on a little baby shelf, like at the bottom, you could barely see it, but because I was looking specifically for deodorant, I saw this and I really love it. And it's because it's a roller ball deodorant. So it is wet. It's not even like a gel consistency, I would say. It's pretty liquidy, but it feels really refreshing underneath your arms. You just have to wait a little bit for it to dry. This says it has essential oils of sage, sweet orange, and lemon. So that's what gives it its really nice, fresh fragrance. No smelly kid here, hopefully. Oh, I can't even express how much I love this stuff. It is so awesome. It's the Tresemme Perfectly Undone Wave Creation Seafoam. I'm obsessed with this. I use it every single time I wash my hair. And the reason why I'm obsessed with this is because it gives you wave and texture in your hair, but it's not sticky and thick. That's how I get my hair like this. And I'm obsessed because it cuts down my styling time like crazy. And I just let my hair air dry and I love how it looks. And then I can even come in with a curling wand if I want to and touch things up. It makes my hair styling life so much easier. It says on here for soft defined waves and that's exactly what you get and your hair doesn't feel hard or crunchy or sticky or heavy. It still feels clean. New fave hair product, it is incredible. Honestly, haven't been using anything new. If I've been wearing it, you guys have seen me talk about it or use it in a video. But I have been using a new lip balm. Everything has just been really dry. Also because I've been in like nine degree weather one day, it was like three degrees. So that dries out your skin when, you know, there's wind blowing, it's extremely cold. Your skin is like, what? Especially if your skin is from LA like mine. It's like, whoa lady, what you doing here? I'm a huge fan of the Smith's Rosebud Lip Balm, but this is the Minted Rose Lip Balm. And I love how it has like this tingliness to it. It just really helps soothe my lips. I love the smell of it. I will say though, I do not like the container because I've gotten up in the middle of the night or just during the day sometimes to try and get some lip balm and sometimes I can't open the tin so now I just leave it kind of like propped open like that so I can get into it and I'm not like struggling I wish this came in a squeezy tube if it does let me know because I will definitely be all over that stuff <laughs> Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Smooth and Strong Base Coat. So I got this because basically I got gel nails once. Just once for a couple weeks and they destroyed my nails. They still feel strong, but when they removed the gels, it left the surface of my nails really bumpy. So I've been trying to like gently smooth them out and then also use things that kind of fill in those ridges. So this has been a really great base coat for that. And it also helps my nail polish last longer and just prevents any kind of like yellowing of the nails. Now for top coat, I've been using the Sally Hansen Diamond Flash top coat because I wanted something super shiny that didn't stink up the room like Sesh Beat because I love the shine of Sesh Beat but I hate the stink of it. Never tried this top coat from Sally Hansen before but I really love it. I think this might be my favorite because you can put multiple coats on your nails and it just makes everything super shiny. I feel like it really locks in my nail polish and prevents chipping like no other top coat I've used before. With this combination I have been getting compliments on my nails and not about the nail polish color I'm wearing so much, but people are like, oh, your nails look so fresh and shiny, like you just got them done. I'm like, actually, I did them myself five days ago, so thank you because these things are obviously working. It is 
this sweater. This was a completely random purchase for me because I was just walking around, saw this in a store, was like, hello, saw that it was 50% off, and then decided, love that, need that, it shall be mine. So when I was checking out, the guy actually told me that the name of this sweater is the No Drama Llama sweater, and I was like, this seals the deal, this is it. Everything in the universe, all the stars are aligning right now. This purchase was meant to be. I have this necklace that I love. So there's a story behind this necklace. I think you guys know, because I've mentioned this in my vlogs before, that Story, which is a store in New York City, is like my favorite store ever. And the reason why I love it so much is because it changes every six weeks or so. And the theme of the store changes along with everything else inside. So that is the story of that period of time. So there was like home for the holidays and there was a tech story. I was there recently and there was this jewelry designer there named Beth Macri and she makes these really, really amazing necklaces and she made one for me. She just made it there on the spot. But the awesome part about it is there are these hidden messages when you turn them over. So you can have the necklace say whatever you want it to say. She just asked me, what do you want your necklace to say? And I said, thrive, because I just love this word. I feel like it is just something that I really aspire to. I really strive to thrive and not just live. I, I wanna thrive and live life to its fullest. So when it hangs from my neck, it looks like these really cool bars. It's very modern and sleek and just unique looking. But then when you flip it over to the side, it says thrive. And it's so cool how she makes these because she puts so much time and thought into just the tiniest details. So like when you flip it over, she makes sure that the letters look the way that they should, that they fit together. It was just really cool to see her in her element and to see a woman who is following her passion and she is just creating beautiful art and sharing it with people. Something else that I am so excited about is that I am going to be having an event at Story, at the store that I love in New York City on March 24th and when I have more details I will let you guys know because you guys will be able to come and hang out with me. It's like Total fangirl moment because Story is like my place and I'm so excited to be able to share this with you guys. I just recently discovered this show because of Netflix and it is The 100 and I am obsessed. T-Rex hands are necessary for sure for this one. So basically this show takes place in the future. A nuclear apocalypse has happened and it basically eradicated human life from the planet. There are a group of humans that are in space and they discover that Earth is survivable and they're not the only ones down there. Story is really great. It's also a book. I read reviews on the book and this is like one of the first times I've ever seen this, but people were saying in the book reviews, watch the show, the show is better. I don't really have an opinion on that since I haven't read the book. On top of the really awesome story, there are also really awesome strong female characters in this show. In this world, it is normal and acceptable for women to stand shoulder to shoulder with men and be leaders or just be leaders on their own. And it's cool to see men and women working together and having to make really difficult decisions. This show, you will see that, you know, it's not black and white. There are lots of gray areas and there are a lot of hard decisions that these young people have to make. It's a really great show. Definitely recommend watching it. The first season is on Netflix and then I've been watching the current episodes on Hulu. I was very skeptical about these things at first. Kale and chia seed chips, to be exact. This is my third pack of these chips, by the way, just in case you're wondering. This is what they look like. They're green chips, and they taste really good. So I have been eating these with guacamole, with hummus. It's just a really great alternative to like potato chips or other kinds of chips. Can't we talk about something more pleasant? And it's a graphic memoir written by Roz Chast. Everything is done by hand in this book. She drew 
all of the pictures, wrote all of the words. I just love this book because she focuses on the relationship that she had with her parents specifically as they got older. All of the things that she was going through as their only daughter. It is an incredible story that in all honesty is sad and heartbreaking at times, but Roz has this way of injecting humor and you know, optimism into her story. This book really has this incredible combination of depth, humor, and just being real. Favorite article this month is in Cherry Bomb Magazine. I have it marked with a paper towel because that's how I roll. It's about Lee Kellis, who is right here, and she has a donut shop in Portland, Maine. And I was actually in Portland recently. Unfortunately, I did not know about this donut shop when I was there. She makes gluten-free donuts from potatoes. The story is written by Kate Christensen, and she can't eat gluten. So she is somebody that really loves donuts, I relate, girl. I feel ya on that. It's just a really cool article because it talks about Lee and why she started this donut shop. She had gone through a divorce and how she really wants to stick to her original mission. She just wants to create really great donuts. She doesn't want to turn into a chain. She wants to keep it family owned and operated. And it's just really cool to see somebody doing something that they're passionate about. Loving Cherry Bomb, I am a new reader, but obsessed with their stuff. Since I've really been into the show The 100, I started looking up interviews with the cast and the writers online just so I could see their perspective and their thoughts on the show. A related video popped up and the title was What Men Really Think About their bodies. I was really intrigued because that's not something that I've ever really seen before. I think talking about these things are really important for women, but I also feel like it's important for men too because at the end of the day, we're all human beings and we all have bodies and we all have different body issues. It was a really cool thing to watch. From one man talking about sexual objectivity to another man talking about how he had been kind of careless with his body throughout his life and promiscuous and he found purpose in his life and with his body when his sister got sick and he was her best chance for survival because of a blood transfusion and that totally changed his outlook on life and how he was treating his body and just things like that and things that you don't think about these men were talking about and just being very candid and open about their experiences and all of them have a different story you know one talking about feeling abandoned when he was younger and another one talking about eating issues that he has. And I think through these men's stories, I realized that men feel like they don't have a place to really talk about this stuff and that that made me sad. I don't I don't want it to be like that. I I want men and women to be able to come together and work through these issues together, whether it's men helping other men and women helping other women and women helping men, and men helping women, and it's just something that I really hope for and that I think is already happening, which gives me hope. I respect people who are working on themselves and who realize that they are human beings and that they make mistakes, that I make mistakes, that we're not perfect. I will definitely link that video down below because it just provides a different perspective and it's, it's very eye-opening and there are also things that are relatable to women. Women can relate to these things as well, even though we're not men. And other men can relate to this. I think people in general can just relate to some of the things that these men are saying. Before I go, I'm gonna leave you guys with a question that I want you to think about, and then if you want to, you can answer in the comments or on Twitter or on Facebook or wherever you want to answer it. This month, I've really been embracing moments and how life is made up of moments. I would love to know a moment from your past month that you love or that you look back on and you learned something from. It can be a good moment, a bad moment, a neutral moment. 
I want to know the moment that sticks out to you. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. So peace out from me and the no drama llama. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bye guys.